वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ सेवन एंड थर्टीन ओके इन ऑर्डर टू फाइंड द रिमाइंडर प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड द डिविजिबिलिटी रूल ऑफ सेवन एंड थर्टीन एक्चुअल रूल्स आर डिफरेंट एंड टूडे वॉट एम गोइंग टू शो यू इज अ बिट डिफरेंट बिकॉज योर यूर गोइंग टू यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्रिक ओनली टू फाइंड द रिमाइंडर ओके सो Let's begin now. Let's see if I give you a number one two three, one two three, one two three, one two three, and if this number is given to you and you have the question says that what is the remainder when this particular number is divided by seven? Okay, so here I'm going to show you a trick, and trust me, after this trick, you will be able to find the remainder of any number, no matter how big that number is. But you will be able to find the remainder in matter of five seconds. Okay, so now over here, like I said, the first trick is to start clubbing your number in groups of three, and starting from your right. Okay, so this is my first group. This is my second group and this is my third group. Then again, as you started from your right, so here you're going to put the signs plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay, this is very important. Okay, now please understand. So what did you do? We just did two steps. One was clubbing the number from your right and putting signs as alternate plus and minus from your right only. Okay, so now over here, what you will do is. You are going to add one two three and one two three over here. Okay, so when you add one two three and one two three, what do you get? Is two four six. Okay, and since both of them are added, so the sign carried with this is nothing but positive only. Now here, the negative signs are what for this particular. Two number, a uh, two slots. That is nothing but again one two three and one two three. But since both of them are negative, so eventually we are actually adding. Okay, but the sign will be negative, and when adding both of them, you get two four six. So now, what is your answer? Is nothing but the remainder is zero. Trust me. How did you get this? Is nothing but two four six minus two four six will get you the answer as zero. If you have doubts, go ahead and check it out. Start the division, and you will realize that answer is actually nothing but zero. Okay. Now, what happens when they are not completely subtracting each other? Okay. When the subtraction over here is not getting you a zero, but if it gets you a particular number. So let me give you an example of. Let's take another uh, big number. Oh five one two nine seven two three one nine six nine one. Okay, now if this is the number and you need to find what is the remainder when this particular number is divided by seven. So again, I'm starting. Sorry, I'm going to start clubbing in groups of three from my right, and the signs are nothing but positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, so now over here, I'm going to add nine seven two plus six nine one. Okay, and what is the addition going to get us? Is nothing but one six six three. Okay, and since both of these signs are same only, but the sign is negative, so eventually it will be a negative answer. But the operation on both of these will be positive. Okay, so when I add both of these, my final answer comes out to be I think eight thirty one. Okay. So when I do this subtraction, my final answer now comes out to be eight thirty two. Okay. So now here, as you saw here, we have a number here. Did we didn't get a proper zero like in this case? So in this particular case, what you would do is you will still divide this number by seven and you will check what is your remainder. So here in this case. Eighty-three, and you will say it goes in seventy-seven. So seventy-seven taken from eighty-three, you get six sixty-two. So fifty-six, and so my final remainder is six, and that is my answer. If you have doubts, I'm telling you all. Trust me, it is so easy and it is so amazing. You will be able to solve these kind of questions in matter of second. Okay, now what happens when it's not a proper four slots happening? What if we get a three slots? Uh, so for that uh, let's 
uh, let's do this and there is one more aspect to it i think you must have a doubt by now Oh, one nine one nine eight three and seven two one. Let's see. These are the numbers, okay? So again, you are going to divide it in slots of three. The signs will be same, but you must be having a doubt, right? Like, what if the final answer over here was still positive, okay? But what if the final answer comes out to be a negative one? So I'm taking consider taking into consideration of that with this particular example. So when I do that, when I add nine seven to one with one nine one, I get nine one two, and that I will subtract from nine eighty three. So since nine eighty three is bigger number, so final answer will carry a negative sign, and that is getting us something like seventy one divided by seven. So when you divide seventy one by seven, your final answer comes out to be negative one, right? So negative one. Now we know, like in all, always the cases, that whenever you have a remainder which is negative, you will simply add the denominator to it, and your final answer now comes out to be six is your remainder. Okay. So you saw how easy this was. Okay. Now let's take another case. What if we do not have uh, numbers who can easily be clubbed in groups of three? So. Nine one five nine nine. Let's do this. So again, I'm going to start clubbing from my right side over here. I am not having three digits, but that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to use the same logic. So five nine nine divided by ninety. Oh, sorry, five nine nine subtracted. Uh, sorry, five nine nine minus ninety one gets you what? Five zero eight. And when you divide that by seven, your remainder is coming out to be. So you saw how easy this was. It is so much easier to solve these kind of questions with this trick rather than wasting your time. Okay, with the actual division. So now I hope you all have understood the tricks. Okay, the same trick is actually applicable for the divisibility rule of thirteen as well. Okay, so before beginning with that, I would like to tell all of y'all that guys, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please do go ahead and hit the like button because that really gives me a lot of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay, so now over here, let's say uh, we have a number ninety two zero three five, and you had to divide it by thirteen. So again, this is plus, this is minus. So thirty-five minus ninety-two will get you how much? One second. Thirty-five minus ninety-two. So that gets us fifty-seven. And when you divide fifty-seven by three thirteen, your remainder is coming out to be um, three. So you realize how easy this was, but one thing which we forgot over here was it is negative fifty-seven. So your final remainder is minus three, and when you have to add, sorry, you have to add thirteen to it because you cannot accept negative remainder. So your final answer will be plus ten. Uh, I made a mistake. I think this is plus minus fifty-two. Uh, this was so fifty-two taken away from fifty-seven. My final answer is coming out to be. Negative five. So again, I cannot accept a negative answer. So I'm going to add thirteen to it. So my final answer is coming out to be eight. Okay. So now, similarly, let's say what will be your answer when I say we have eight, 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 eight and eight, eight, eight. So if you have something like this without even Uh, you know, actually doing the whole process here, you saw there are four groups of the same digits. Then I can directly say that my final answer is coming out to be zero as a remainder. If you have doubts, then do go ahead and check it out. Okay, but now forget this. Let's say if we have something like this: nine, 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 and nine, nine, nine. So again, we will have something like this. So nine, nine, nine plus nine, nine, nine. That will get us nine 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 plus nine 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 minus nine nine nine. So I can say it is coming out to be something like this, right? So I over here, I'm not even going to bother adding them. My final answer is something coming out to be nine 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 only. And when I divide that by thirteen, I'm getting the remainder as 
11. So you saw how easy this was. It is in matter of seconds we are doing these kind of sums. Okay. So students that's it for now. I will quickly make another video of divisibility rule of 37 as well. Because that is something which has been asked quite frequently in uh, GMAT as well as CAT. Okay. So do stay tuned. Uh, and that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye.